Hello and welcome back to Larry's Prairies, where you learn about animals and learn how to pronounce your teacher's name. So, with this week's uh, warm weather, I think we, I think we need to start talking about springtime because it's basically what it is. Uh, what, you know, seas seasons in practical sense have always been, are always really the wet based on the weather rather rather than the uh, pattern of equinoxes that, it, that some uh, scientists consider to be the official beginning of the season. So if we're, talk so if we're talking about spring, uh, there's one animal that's particularly associated with it. And in, indeed, interestingly enough, although this, is, this species is one of the many animals that it, whose common name is, dra is drawn from a similarly appearing European species, the, the, um, the uh, traditional significance of yeah, the association with spring is purely linked to the American species and not to the European original. So let's, let's, I speak of course of the robin. Kingdom Animalia, it's an animal. Phylum Chordata, again, no surprise, vertebrate, class Aves, bird. Order Passeriformes are songbirds. Notable features: singing and perch, perches, perching on tree branches. So these are these are the most common grouping of birds, and probably the ones that you you normally think of if someone says, "Draw me a bird," you'd be drawing something like a songbird. Uh, so, rob, robins are family turdidae, which are thrushes, and turdus migratorius is the is the genus species name for the American robin. So, here, here it is. This, pic, this picture is a male. It's 11, length is 9 to 11 inches. Wingspan 12 to 16. We, weighs two, between 2 and 3 ounces. And note that, note that with, with, with the robins and a lot, a lot of songbirds, the females are smaller than the males. They're only slightly. So this was opposed opposed to the birds of prey that we that we saw several of in previous uh, Larry's furries, because among birds of prey, the females are the bigger. So robins are, are omnivores. They they uh, mostly eat insects and fruits. <laughs> and as for uh, the the male female distinction, I mentioned. I mentioned that there's a slight difference in size. There's also a slight difference in color, but not much. So males and females look, mostly look the same. So here's a male, and the picture in the next slide is a female. So the, so the American robin, you know, so we note the biological species name, Turtus migratorius, and of course the, the traditional association, rob, robins being associated with springtime. So both of these, ultimately derived from the fact that American robins specifically migrate. Euro European robins mostly don't, which is one of the reasons why I'm saying that the springtime thing is really American. So how far robins migrate varies. So there are, there are American robins found all across North America, from northern Canada down through, down through Mexico, at least during the... And uh, actually... And actually, actually, you other other than the far north, you you can find robins year round. So there's a not so there's a non-migratory subspecies that lives in Mexico all the time. And and uh, but although the although the the bulk of the species does migrate, it you know how far how far they migrate varies. So you might have you might have uh, some some individual robins who spend. We spend the summer with us here in New Jersey, and then migrate south to maybe to maybe the Carolinas or Florida to, during the winter, and then you and then you might have some other birds that spent that spent their that spent their summer up in northern Canada and uh, and uh, trying to migrate south for more war, warmer weather. They think, eh, the New New Jersey's far enough. I'm no longer freezing, and so th and so we might we might see them in the winter here, which is. Which, which is why uh, you, so robins have a distinctive 
bird song. It's very, very common. They're one of the first, they're one of the first uh, birds singing in the morning. And you might, you might hear robin song year round because because of this migra migration pattern that I mentioned, where where they where they all migrate, but not but but not but not all the same distance. And so and so we have so we have uh, some. Some robins in the summer and some in the winter, but different ones. <laughs> Another connection between between robins and the spring and the springtime is their is their breeding patterns. So robins are early and prolific breeders. They have, they they have, they have they a, a pair of robins will hatch two or three nests of chicks in a, in a single year. And they'll have their, fir their first one starting in the spring, in, a in April. So, but they will continue breeding up through July. And so so the, ch the chicks hatch quick, the chicks mature quickly enough once hatched that they, that they can get in mul multiple breeding rounds per in a year. And with so, with so much of breeding going on, Robin are not at all endangered. They're in fact the most common bird in North America. However, however U.S. law protects all migratory birds, include, including robins. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that they're not that they're not endangered. You you cannot legally uh, shoot, shoot or, other, or otherwise harm a robin under any circumstances. Of course, why would you want to? Oh, hmm. oh, there's, oh, there's, there's the there's the robin, very very common bird. You find find them all, all over North America. But in fact, they're they're the state bird of Connecticut, Michi Michigan, and Wisconsin. Example, showing showing how widespread they are. That they're considered the most important birds in several states. They're not they're not neighbors. And the, and the, they have they have this major association of springtime, so it's nice, nice to see them and, and recognize them at this at this lovely time of year. So that'll be that'll be well actually put sources first Wikipedia for the information because they're very common. So information on them is also very common. Pictures, public domain, and the, some share like up. Uh, posters onto the Wikipedia page. <coughs> all, right. all right, so now so that I've remembered finishing my sources, that, so that's, that's all for, the, for this springtime edition of uh, 30 Spurries. So now go out and enjoy the weather, or at least do so after your school day finishes, because most of you are probably viewing this in class. Bye for now.